Hello, my name is Steve Bigelow with the Candlestick Forum. The markets are kind of in a split session. The Dow, as you can see, is trading well up above the T-line, maintaining its uptrend. Again, statistically, or I guess factually, that if as long as the indexes trade above the T-line, we're in an uptrend. We're seeing that in the Dow, the S&P, and the transportation index. The transportation index up strong is a good indication that they're not selling off this market. However, we can see a bearish doji sandwich in the NASDAQ, which closed below the T-line. Makes the analysis very simple. There's stocks that you want to be long based upon sectors, and there's stocks that you want to be short based on the weak sectors. So the sectors right now is are or are the important analysis. Right now, oil, oil refineries are acting very strong. Look at the double doji bobble breakout that we saw in PBF today. Same scenario over here in Valero. These are all strong uh, uh, charts. And the gold and silver stocks are acting very well. Gold and silver gapped up uh, strong today. You can see how uh, MAG did a little kicker type signal, scoop type pattern right off the 50, indicating there's probably more upside. SVM, same scenario. Doji, best friend, gap up off the uh, 50, likely heading for the 200. Take a look at AU, EXK, Hecla, and PASS as other uh, stocks that have very strong charts uh, in that sector. Our OCGN coming out of the J-hook pattern today after our scoop pattern is still doing what we expected it to be doing the J-hook pattern breakout, telling us we've still got more upside. Very good profitable trade based upon identifying where the scoop pattern started and where the uh, J-hook pattern started. So we also have very logical uh, uh, visual aspects of when to be out of a bad trade. VRX or VXRT was acting very well coming out of this fry pan bottom type pattern. But here was the alert. When they gapped it down uh, below or pretty much close to the low end of this trading range, whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. You immediately put your stop at the previous day's open because logic says if there's enough selling pressure to come down through the open that far away from the T-line, close out the trade immediately. Where are they likely going to move to? Back to the T-line. So right now with the NASDAQ selling off, there's some good short positions uh, to be putting in place. You can see Space had a bearish uh, doji sandwich with a doji gap down. If this opens lower, look for a wave three to the downside. So in these market conditions, having both long and short positions in the portfolio is prudent. We're going to be doing a uh, session on Thursday. Come join us, showing when to be taking profits and when to be closing out bad trades using the logic built into candlestick analysis. That'll be it. We'll see you in the chat rooms.